Hi everybody, welcome back. Now that you have made it to week three of this series, you may start to feel differently in your energy, mood, or other areas such as sleep or stress. Stay in the habit and look for other ways to incorporate healthy habits. Sometimes the simplest thing to do is to remove an unhealthy habit consistently before adding in a new one. Today's workout is another functional full body workout. Today, instead of weights, we are gonna be using household items to engage different muscles, joint stability, and of course, have some fun. It's common that using this, these items may feel awkward due to their size or shape, and you may feel a bit wobbly. Embrace the wobbles. These are new muscles getting stronger. Try to keep your eyes forward throughout to help engage your core. We have four different movements today. We will do each exercise for 30 seconds, followed by 10 seconds of rest and complete four rounds. If you are here today for the action category, I'm gonna be using a yoga mat, you are gonna follow me. If you're here for the challenge category today, you can use laundry detergent soup can, but follow Bobby. If you're here for the train category today, grab a sack of potatoes if you have it and follow Amanda. Remember, you can stop, take a drink of water and rest whenever you need to. Just join us when you're ready. We don't have a chair today as part of our exercise routine, but if you're feeling tired, extra wobbly, just wanna have that chair there as a backup, make sure you grab that as well. All right, everybody, let's go. All right, for the first exercise we're doing, everybody here is moving lateral. I'm actually adding in my yoga mat to hold this odd object. And if you'll notice, Bobby is going up and over her laundry detergent as Amanda's actually going up and over and taking that step back, changing the direction of balance. And this, while this may seem a little easy just to be holding a simple yoga mat, I'm using my stabilizing muscles just in a little bit of a different way. All right, good work everybody. Go ahead and grab your item. We're going to that ground to overhead next. So I'm still gonna hold my yoga mat and the rest of the crew is gonna pick up their items. Wide foot position everybody. All right, here we go. So we're coming down to the ground, picking that item and pressing overhead. Remember, we're still warming up, so you may wanna decrease your range of motion. Definitely your tempo as you're warming up those knees, hips, and shoulders. If you're feeling good and warmed up, really work through that range of motion, pressing completely overhead, trying to get just slightly down to the ground. Nice job. And rest. All right, our next exercise is actually going to be a little bit of range of motion, including um, and while we engage our core muscles. So we're gonna do an around the world. Everybody ready? Take your item around your head, kind of in a halo position or around the center of your body. You can go right, you can go left, you can switch it in between. Whatever feels good to you, but also challenges your balance and range of motion slightly. Try to stay close to your head if you're doing this halo, really warming up those shoulders and those abs. Good work, everybody. Tighten those belly and buttock muscles. Three, two, and rest. All right, we just have one more exercise in the circuit, which is actually going to be a hold. So while you're standing in this position, focusing on your posture is the most important thing. Ready? And hold. I'm holding my item close to my chest in a bear hug position. As you can see, Bobby is pressing out while Amanda is pressing overhead. Really important, no matter how you are doing this movement, tighten up those hip muscles Make sure that spine is straight. Make sure you can still breathe. This is a great time to take a couple of deep breaths and bring that heart rate down as we go into the next round. How are we doing, Bobby? Good. Awesome. Amanda? Great. Excellent. All right, we are resting. Okay, we're going back to that lateral motion. So I'm gonna move down here. Same thing, but let's start to pick up that tempo just a little bit for those of you at home. All right, team, we ready? Here we go. So for me in this motion, I'm kind of squatting down just a little bit deeper, trying to move just a little bit faster. I could play with my yoga mat and move it farther away if I want to or keep it close to my body. It's important when you're doing these movements to look straight ahead if you can, trying to keep good posture. Job team, 10 seconds. Hopefully you're feeling a little more comfortable in these movements the second round. Nice job and rest. All right, go ahead and pick up your item, everybody. We are going to that ground to overhead position. So remember, we're gonna have nice wide legs. Let's put the weight in the heels, shoulders back. Ready, and begin. This is really the movement in the workout today where I want you to push the tempo to increase your heart rate just a little bit. If you can, try to come off the bottom of that ground quickly to the overhead position. 
Again, focusing on that range of motion. Whatever range of motion is your range of motion, it doesn't have to be straight up and you don't have to reach the floor. Five seconds, everybody. Three, two, and rest. Great job. So next we're going back to that around the world, so holding that item. I think it's really kind of fun to try going a different way first, do that odd side first, so I'm gonna be going to my left. If you're very right dominant, it's great to challenge these new muscles. Again, you could go around the center of the body, or you can even go down to the lower body if you want to, targeting those legs. I know my crew behind me has some preferences. Bobby, what's your favorite? Around the middle. She likes the middle. Nanda, your favorite? Around the head. Around the head. And I like the legs. Great job, everybody. Three, two, and rest. All right, back to that hold. I think actually, although we're just standing here, this is often the hardest because we're not moving, we're just holding that straight position, but we can do this. Ready? And begin. So again, I'm showing hugging this yoga mat as my bear hug. Make sure you don't pull it too tight against your chest so you can't take in a nice sip of air. Great job, everybody. Tighten that booty. Make sure you're flexing those glute muscles. That'll make a nice, tight core. We have 10 seconds left. Nice big breath. Good work. Almost there. And rest. Great job. All right, we are at the halfway point. So this is a great time to grab that drink of water. Take a moment to sit down if you need to as we work through rounds three and four. Great. Good work, everybody. Way to stay hydrated. Love it. So same thing, this is that third round. You should be nice and warmed up. If you're feeling good in this position, try to pick up your tempo just a little bit. If you're going up and over something, maybe lift that leg just a little bit higher. Step back just a little bit further, pushing that range of motion. Nice work, everybody. Three, two, good. All right, we're resting. Round overhead, so you need your items. Same thing, nice wide foot position. Check that posture first. Ready? Here we go. Down and up. No matter what item that you're using, it's gonna feel awkward to move through these different positions. By using these different items, you're gonna notice that small muscles are really having to adapt. These exercises are great for all of the things that you do in life. And rest. Good work. All right, around the world. Ready? Arms getting a little tired. <laughs> indeed, indeed. <laughs> Turn stack of potatoes and go. <laughs> I think it's important that you know that you don't need a big set of weights or a fancy gym to exercise. You just need all of the things that are in your house or your body. There's so many things that you can do with just the items that you have around. Just need to get started and try something. Just pushing play, trying these new exercises, you'll notice that great movement, strength, and energy. Three seconds. And rest. All right, great work. We're moving to that hold. Ready? All right. Here we go in three, two. So one thing I'm doing in my hold position is I'm kind of switching which arm is in the front have that tendency to put that dominant arm first. So change those positions, kind of make sure that you're thinking about trying something new, moving in a different way. Make sure you're still holding your glutes nice and tight, pulling your posture, shoulders, and back, shoulders are back. Make sure you're breathing. We are almost there. Nice work, everybody. Three, two, and rest. All right, fantastic. We ready for one more round? All right, let's do it. Here we go in three, two, let's go. So if you're following me in this action category, one of the great things that you can do here, squat a little bit lower, move tiny bit faster. Also, you can move slower, noticing that those muscles are engaging a little bit different. Same thing if you're doing following Bobby and Amanda picking up your tempo or even slowing down your tempo all uses your muscles differently. All right, rest. Done with that. Let's grab that item, ground to overhead. Last time, everybody, you got it. 
Widen those feet, nice base of support. Ready? Here we go. I think when you're at this point, although you're thinking I might be tired, best thing you can do is smile. Realize how strong you are, what you can do. Keep moving to the best of your abilities, even if you have to slow down. Just keep going, you got it. 10 seconds. Good work, everybody. Five seconds. Three, two, and rest. Nice work. All right, around the world. Again, try to challenge those muscles, but this is that last round. Make it your favorite, so do the one that you enjoy the most. Try both sides if you want to, or stick to one. You might notice that your muscles are feeling a little tired, so it might be a little harder to move one direction or the other. Keep moving, everybody. We are almost there. Good work. Five seconds. You got it. You got it. Three, two, and rest. All right. Last move we're doing is that last hold exercise. A little sweat going on. Me too. <laughs> All right, ready? And begin. Take a moment, engage that posture. Start by tightening your glutes, your abs. Pull your shoulders back. Take a couple big breaths. Guess what, everybody? We only have 20 seconds left. You're almost there. Take a moment to think, how are you feeling after this workout? Do you feel strong? Do you feel tired? Do you feel energized? Do you feel sweaty? Whatever it is, it's awesome. Five seconds. Three, two, and rest. Whew, great work, everybody. How'd it feel? Good. You ever worked out with laundry detergent before? No. Sack of potatoes? Never. <laughs> That's not normally how I use a yoga mat, but really want you to embrace whatever you have around your house. Try these different moves or a combination of it. Functional movement is a great way to improve how you move in every day. Um, and can be a really fun and engaging experience. Thanks for joining us today. We will see you next time.